hey guys so there's a ss convertible over there and then here's a beautiful 69 rally sport hard top it's like a hunter green does have like that oh the what do they call this you guys put in the comments i forget what the name of this seat is uh i forget the name of what that seat fabric is called so let's see look at that uh, i can't tell what it's got 69,000 69.96 i think automatic really nice no rear spoiler it's got are those are those tail lights 69 those tail lights hmm are they original tail lights for an rs they're very different it does have the the backup lights i wonder tell me i think that might be like real rs stuff so it might be the telltale that's a real rs this looks like it's an original survivor guys i mean it doesn't look restored it looks worn so it's got you know a cassette deck from the 80s in it very nice i don't know who the person who owns it where they're at it's a really nice car let's see all right you guys tell me one two four three seven nine n fifty two sixty nine 63 so i don't know if that's if you could tell by that whether it's an rs or not i said earlier today i've been told you can't tell whether it's an rs car or not or an ss code by the vin so i don't know it's got the big lights down the bottom the big running lights it's a really nice looking car is it seersucker is that the inside seersucker i don't know I don't know, but it says it's got 327. It's got a door, a couple door dings here, and that's okay. Very cool car. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean, and I'm Sean. We've got a Trans Am or a Firebird. I don't think it's one of the original Trans Ams. If it was, it'd be worth about five million dollars. So, but it's a very nice car. I'm Bob. Bob, I'm Sean. So you bought it before it was worth more than a house? Sir? Well, I paid $1,100 for it in 1985. Okay. It was a basket case. Oh, that's and, the white uh, one? Is it, it real, it's real SS? Nice. No. Oh, okay. No, it uh, had a 320, it had a 400 in it when I bought it. Okay. And I tried to put a 327 in it, but the one I had was cracked, so yeah, you're working okay. on a 350. Right? Okay. So is it was a base model and you put the hidden headlights and everything yeah. on it? So it's not an RS or an SS or is it? No. So it's a, it was a base model but then you just converted it? So. Yes. Okay. Good to see. So. But I replaced the whole floor, the trunk floor and the quarter panels. And okay. 
Yeah, rocker pedals on inner side. Eighty years old. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. Well, I bought it in '85, and I didn't start on it until 2015. Oh, okay. Okay. So it just sat there, or were you just driving it around? Well, I bought it up in Pennsylvania. Okay. And then my boy went to the fly airplanes. Okay. So we went through that, and then he went to college. Okay. Then my daughter went to college, and I moved down here. And then I figured up before I get too old, I better do something. Okay. Hey, we got a new guy so here. I was 80 years old when I got it done. All right. Fantastic. Well, it's pretty sweet. Thank you. So can we open the hood and look at it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry for asking. You to get up, but some. Oh, no problem. We need to exercise. <laughs> Was it originally a white car or did you redo the whole paint? No, it was one of the seafoam greens, but uh, oh, okay. it was painted probably five times when I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because back in 85, I mean, everybody was fixing these up anyway, so. And then what, what type of engine? Did you build the engine or have it yeah, built? Yeah, I built it. It's 350. It got a mild cam in it and uh, put the Edelbrock Pro, Pro Flow 4 on it. Added, did you have the, you added the brakes or the power brakes or just replaced? Yeah, it, it was originally just uh, standard brakes, so I put the power. Uh, okay. The leak took the paint off. <laughs> did you add the air conditioning as well, or did it come with air? No, there was no air on it. No. Okay. I put oh. the air on. Okay. I got four wheel disc brakes. So the brake conversion, all that stuff, huh? Yeah. All the comfort stuff. Yeah. So, well, you definitely need the air down here. Yeah. Even if it's a convertible. Yeah. So. So yeah. then you said you, you it was pretty rusted, so did you replace a lot of the body parts as well? Or, oh yeah, or? I replaced the inner fenders, uh, the inner rocker panels, okay. quarter panels, trunk floor, body floor. Right. What's it What's it got for a rear, uh, the gears back there? Oh, it's original. Oh, okay. 273. Right, so highway. Yeah. So, where'd you find this, or just the aftermarket, or the yeah, hidden Yeah, National Parts or? Depot, I got most of the stuff oh, okay. off of them up and, there. NPD, we'll yeah, we've, we've been there, we did their whole collection on video last year, they brought oh, us in, right. we did their private collection in the back, yeah. Yeah, well, it's a really beautiful car. Thank you. Really a stunner, so. And uh, this, I, I love this, this just kind of makes, you know, it's instead of just doing it the way it was factory, yeah. with that little red line, the, the real red line just kind of stands, stands out a little bit, so. So. Yeah, I bought the TMI seats in there. They're you know, red stitching in them, so I just kind of figured out would go good with them. Right. So, oh, and then you got the custom wood in there as well. So. Well, I started off. I was going to use the iPad in there for music and right. navigation and all that stuff, but when the roof's down, you can't see the iPad. Right. The sun shining. So, eh, well, that's all right though. And a cup holder because they never came with them. So yeah, nobody thought you'd be hold, putting using cup holders in these cars when they came out in the '60s. No, <laughs> but wow, really pretty car. It's a really nice one to have. Well, thanks for sharing, Thank man. Appreciate it. So look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. Uh, the old school Craigers on it. Just everything. So yeah. But wow, very cool. Thank you. Are they 15 inch? Yeah, they're 15 inch. Okay. Yeah, so they're like. They're, you didn't even bother going. You, you got it like period, like 1980s period. Like as if somebody had it. Because I'm a, I'm a kid of the 80s, 84. I graduated high school, and a couple people had these cars. And uh -huh. this looks like it'd be something in high school. Everybody fixed the engine up, threw different blocks in it, put the craggers on it. So it's it's like a period, 1980s period. If you, if you were in school in the 80s, high school, this would have been in that parking lot. Yeah. So and they would have probably paid about 25 between 15 and 2500 bucks for something like this yeah. back then. So, well, and, I bought a brand new '67 Mustang convertible. Right. And uh, I liked. That. I looked at the Camaro, but they wouldn't give you no discount on a uh, on accessories. Oh, okay. Or the Ford, you know, with the Mustang. They right. Did. So I bought the Mustang, but uh, this is twice the car the Mustang was. Yeah. Well, it's a. It's really. I mean, sweet. This thing. You're so lucky to have one of these now, especially the ragtop one. Yeah, I know. And then you know, like here in the evening, I mean, it's just great. Oh yeah, like especially this time of year in Florida yeah. when it's nice and cool. So like this is so perfect. But oh man, I appreciate you letting me let me you. video. Wow. So nice, super nice car, guys. And it, and he did it. You know, it's not an RS, but I mean, you couldn't really tell. Other, than, I don't even know if you could tell if you. I don't think you'll check an RS. I don't know if on this particular year, and you guys tell me in the in the little things down below, if during this year you could even tell whether it was an RS with the uh, 
VINs because I don't know whether the VIN would even tell you whether it's an RS or not. Let me go ask him real quick because I don't think it would. Quick question, and I'm, I think I know the answer, but you may know better. This is a 68, right? 68. 68. And 68, if, if I remember right, you couldn't even tell by the VIN whether it was an RS or an SS with the Camaros, if I remember right. I know 67 you couldn't. Yeah. Because uh, there's no code that tells you it's an RS or an SS. Yeah, the RS... Uh, All it tells you is the engine, right? The, the RS had the, the hidden headlights. No, I know looking at it, but if you look at a VIN, all that tells you is the engine code it wouldn't tell you if it was an actual rs or an ss no, back then so. you could tell if it was a z because it would have the z code in it uh -huh. and it, i don't think it was z28 in 67 or it was z28 in 67 but it was something else down the road because that that's when it became a z28 but um yeah i don't think because when we were at the auctions the guys at mecham told me they couldn't tell there was a couple that looked fake and they said they just have to take the guy who builds it word for it because you can't tell by the VIN whether it's an RS or an SS. Yeah, if you but, don't have that little sticker that they sometimes put under the seat or something. Right, the build the sheet or something, yeah. Yeah. So, but because it's done right, I mean, it looks just like an RS. Or, uh, yeah, an SS, RS. So, cool. Well, thanks, man. It's going to be uh, every Thursday. Hey, guys, if you like this one, you should see some of the other videos from today. And um, where are we in? High Springs? High Point? I can't remember the name of the town but we're right above hudson florida on route 19 and if you like this thing please subscribe uh please tell me do you want to see more than two cars is two cars enough do you like the little 10 minute videos would you rather have a half hour video uh what do you want to do so let me know but anyway um thanks for watching here's april april should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one probably just for this one says merchandise store right here merchandise store link you will see it says https forward slash junkyards dash bar dash barn dash finds with and you click on that and it's going to take you here